Hello engineers, in this tutorial we will learn how to use the line and circle tools. These are two of the fundamental sketching tools. So I've started a new part, I will now go into the sketch tab and under the create panel I have the line tool. Now notice here there's a drop down just below and in here we have the line tool, we have splines and also curves. Splines and curves are only used for complex geometries which I'll be covering in a later tutorial. But in this tutorial let's focus on the line tool. So we can either select that line tool here, or we can press L on our keyboards, which is the shortcut. And we'll then need to define a plane in which to draw on. So here, let's choose the XY plane. Another way of selecting the line tool is to right click anywhere in the graphics window and select create line. So if we right click, we have the line tool, the center point circle tool, general dimension tool, and so on. So let's start with the line tool. Notice that when we begin to use a tool, Inventor will always indicate to us what we need to do. So in the bottom left hand corner, we can see here we're being asked to select the start of a line. I'll start this line on the origin like so, and then I will left click my mouse button once and then I will move my mouse and we can see we're now creating a line. Now I need to select the end of the line. So let's say I will click here and then I'm still in the line tool. It is still highlighted in blue. And so I can continue drawing lines indefinitely like so. To exit the line tool, we can either right click and select OK, or we can press escape on the keyboard as a shortcut. Let's draw some more lines. So I will pan across the screen. I'll right click and select create line again. I'll start my line here. And now I will use the dynamic input boxes. So here I will input a dimension of 15 millimeters. And I will then press tap on my keyboard to then input a angle with the horizontal. So here I will enter 30 degrees and then press OK. As you can see, I have a 15 millimeter line in length and an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. I can continue drawing lines from there. So I'll now draw a vertical line down like so. And then to close the sketch as a shortcut, we can right click and select close. And that will close our sketch so we have this profile here in which we can extrude at a later date. So that's a summary of the line tool. Let's press escape on the keyboard and exit that tool. And let's pan up and have a look at the circle tool. So again, if we have a look at the drop down, we have the center point circle, which is the general circle tool most commonly used. We then have the tangent circle and the eclipse circle. I will demonstrate those to you. So let's start with the center point circle. We can select the center of the circle anywhere in the graphics window, then move the mouse and we can create circles uh, like so. After we create the circle, notice that we are still using the circle tool so we can create circles indefinitely. So that's a very straightforward tool to use. Again, we can use the dynamic input boxes to define the diameters. So here I'll enter a diameter of eight millimeters and press enter. And there we have an eight millimeter diameter circle. For the tangent circle, for this, we need to draw three lines. So I will draw three lines as so. Then we will use the tangent circle tool. So here we need to select our first line, the second line, and the third line. And we can see that we have created a circle that is constrained tangentially to each of these three lines. And if we select the circle, we can see the tangent constraints with the according lines just here. Note that we can move these lines around and those constraints will be constant and so the circle will adjust according to how we change these lines and last we have the eclipse tool so we go into the drop down and select the eclipse so here we need to select the center of the eclipse which i'll select here we then need to define the first axis point so i'll select there and then we can begin to see a preview of our eclipse which we can select our final point there we have to find a eclipse geometry. And that concludes a basic introduction to the line and the circle tools. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section and I'll answer as soon as I can. I'll see you in the next tutorial.